English speaking course. What do you want? Hey, Jim, are you free now? I think so. I don't have any homework to do now, so yeah. Could you do me a favor? Sure thing. What do you want? I have homework for my business class. That is to conduct an interview about fast food. Would you mind if I ask you a few questions? No, go ahead. Okay, so. What is your favorite fast food restaurant? McDonald's, I guess. Why do you like it? Well, because of the varied menu and the comfortable and passionate decor. Now let me check it once again. Dad! Dad! What's wrong, Lucy? I want to write a letter to Grandma. Ah, how lovely you are. What do you want to write? I want to tell her about my grades at school. And I will visit her this summer vacation. It's going to be a nice letter. Let me help you write. Okay, we're done with the letter. Can I send it now? No, you have to put it in an envelope. And you will need to write down your and her address. I don't know Grandma's address. Let me help you. Here, write down this address. All right, now let me check it once again. And then we can send it to Grandma, right? Yeah. Stop kidding. Are you going to join the party tonight, Adam? Which party? Alex's birthday party. You didn't know about it? No, I didn't. But I don't think I can go. You better go, man. It's going to be super fun. And maybe you can find a girlfriend there. Stop kidding, man. Seriously, bro. There will be a lot of pretty girls at the party. Nah. Nobody's gonna pay attention to me. Why don't you give it a try? No, thanks. I already have a plan. Oh, come on. Are you sure? I think we're getting lost. I agree. I don't know where we are right now. Don't worry. Just follow the map, okay? Are you sure? What if we get stuck in this forest forever? No way. Trust me, okay? What if we meet any wild animals? Like lions. Oh no! They're gonna eat us. Stop it! Just follow me and don't say anything else. Hey, look! I can see the village. See, I told ya. All we have to do is believe in the map. Okay, we trust you now. No, I don't want to. Jenny, do you have a moment? What's the matter, Luke? Last night, I checked your file, and I saw that you haven't finished the report. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry for that. I couldn't meet the deadline. Don't worry, we still have today to finish it. You'd better work on it now before we submit it to our boss. Should we just give up? Listen, Jenny, do you want to work overtime? No, I don't want to. And do you want to be scolded by our boss? Definitely no. That's why we cannot give up, Jen. Let's work hard and go home early today. Got it.
that's strange. Are you in your room, Sarah? Yes, Mom. Can you check for me whether there is any necklace there? I think I dropped it in your room. I'm looking for it now, Mom. Sorry, but I couldn't find anything. That's strange. I remember that I put it on your table. I just checked my table and there's no necklace, Mom. That's so weird. How about the bathroom? Maybe you took it off when you were changing clothes. Oh, yeah. That makes sense. Let me check it. Ah, found it. Thank God. Can you show me your answer sheet? I've just distributed to everybody a question sheet and an answer sheet. Please fill in your answer in 15 minutes. Don't forget to read the question as well. Hey, Mike. What? Can you show me your answer sheet? There are some parts that I'm not sure about. I'm sorry, but I can't. If Mr. Henry knew this, he would give us an F. Dustin, Mike, are there any problems? No, no Mr. Mr. Henry. Please keep quiet and do your work. Okay. I'm sorry to interrupt you. So, I just finished discussing the main goals of this project. Excuse me. Yes, please. I'm sorry to interrupt you, but I have a question about the deadline for this project. Oh, don't worry. I haven't mentioned the deadline yet. After talking about the marketing strategies, I'm going to move to that part. Thank you. You're welcome. Before I move on to the next slide, does anyone have any other questions? I'm sorry. Could you explain the goals again for me? I didn't really focus. No problem. I will talk about the goals once again for everyone. Allow me. Hey, Dylan. I am here. Hey, how are you doing? I'm okay. You? I'm pretty good, I guess. Oh, let me introduce you to my wife, Linda. Nice to meet you, sir. It's a pleasure to meet you. Can I call you by your first name? Yes, please feel free to do so. I heard a lot about you, Mrs. Linda. James sometimes mentions how wonderful you are. Oh, come on. Just sometimes, okay? Ha, uh, you don't have to be shy. James always mentions how wonderful you are. Stop it. Stop it. Wow, that surprised me. Will you go there or shall I? All right, we can end our lessons today. Don't forget to clean the classroom before you leave. It's our duty today, right, Nancy? Yeah, we have to borrow the vacuum first. Where can we find it? At the security office on the first floor, I guess. Do you want to go there, or should I? Let me do it. While I'm gone, you can arrange the desks. Okay, got it. I've got the vacuum now. I've also finished arranging the desks. Maybe I can do the vacuum and you can clean the desks. Sure thing. Let's do it. Do you have anything cheaper?
Good evening. How can I help you, sir? I'm looking for new shoes. What kind of shoes are you looking for? I'm going climbing this weekend, so I need a new pair of athletic shoes. What do you think about this latest model? How much is this? It's $70, sir. $70 is too expensive for me. Do you have anything cheaper? Yes, we do. How about these athletic shoes instead? This model only has two colors, black and white. But these shoes are very comfortable to wear. How much are they? They're priced at only $50. Sounds good. I'll take this pair. How much do I owe you? What do you want to eat tonight, Harry? How about pizza? I remember we ate it yesterday. Anything else except pizza? <laughs> I want to eat pasta. Sounds like a good choice. Wait. Talking about pizza, it seems like you haven't paid me back for the pizza last night. Oh, I'm so sorry. How much do I owe you? Ten dollars, bro. Oh, I forgot to bring my wallet with me. Can I repay you tonight? Sure, I can wait. Thank you for lending me the money, Harry. I don't have a girlfriend. Hey, Sean. Want to play computer games with me tonight? I'm sorry, but I'm hanging out with my girlfriend. Maybe next time. Oh, really? Oh, I'm so bored. I can't think of anything else to do. You can ask someone else to hang out with you instead. I don't have a girlfriend. Oops, my mistake. Forget it. By the way, why are you always hanging out with your girl? You haven't been at home for three nights. Well, my girlfriend will be leaving for her hometown next week. That's why I want to spend as much time as possible with her. You are a sweet boyfriend. She must be so happy. Thanks. Sorry, we only accept cash. Excuse me? I would like to pay my bill now. Yes, sir. Your meal is $100 in total. Okay, let me see. Is it possible to pay with a credit card? I'm sorry, but we only accept cash payments. Oh, okay. Can you wait for me a little bit? I forgot my wallet in my car, so... No problem, sir. I will wait for you. Thanks for waiting. I'm back. How much was my meal again? Yours is $100 in total. Here it is. Thank you, sir. We hope to see you again soon. Which one is better? Honey, I need your help. What's wrong, darling? I'm considering this white dress and the red one. Which one do you think is better? What do you think? Mm. I think you are prettier in the white clothes. Do you also think so? Actually, I really like myself in the white one. But I love red dresses. Can you put both of them on again? Sure. This is me in the white dress. Perfect. I love this one. <gasps> All right. 
How about me in the red dress? Wow, you look so sexy in this one. How about buying both? I'll pay for you, darling. Really? Aw, I love you. Is there a movie theater nearby? Ooh, what a fun shopping day. What do you want to do next? Mm. I'm too tired to walk now, so I want somewhere we can sit down. A coffee shop? A restaurant? We just ate two hours ago, and I'm still full. How about watching a movie now? It's a good idea, but is there a movie theater nearby? Let me check on Google real quick. Ah, yes. We have a moonlight cinema just a 300 meter walk. Cool. What movie should we watch? What do you like? Sci-fi, romance, or horror? You can choose. Let's find a sci-fi movie to watch together. Okay, cool. Let's go. Are you ready to have fun? All right, kids. We just arrived at the theme park. Are you ready to have fun? Yes, we are. Hooray! I'm so excited! Which game would you like to play? The roller coaster! The roller coaster! I want to play shooting games. All right, I see a shooting game stall right over there. How about we play this game first and then we ride the roller coaster? Okay! Okay, let's go. My room is quite small. What are you going to do after school? Go home, I guess. Can I visit your house and hang out with you there? Ah, uh, well, I'm afraid you can't. Why not? My room is quite small, and I don't have a lot of stuff for us to do. It's all right. I just want to have a snack and chat with you. Can I bring snacks and eat them in your room? Not really, but my mom might make some cookies if you come. Really? I love cookies. So that means I can come to your house, right? Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you. Next time, you can come to my house if you want. He always does that for me. What does your husband do, Lisa? Does he work at a company like yours too? No, he doesn't. He owns a bakery. Our bakery is located on Queen Street. Wow, really? What's the name of the bakery? I'd love to visit if I have time. It's called Lisa and Luke. Ah, that's so lovely. Is it named after you and your husband? Bingo. Since we have a bakery, my husband bakes delicious bread for me every morning. He's always so thoughtful and does that for me. Ah, he's so romantic. I know, right? How do I use this? Tom, come here, my sweetie. What's wrong, Grandma? Do you need something? Yes, my child. I just bought my first washing machine. How do I use it? Don't worry, Grandma. It's very simple. Did you separate the clothes based on their fabric? Yes, I did. Awesome! Now you need to adjust the water temperature. Okay, done. 
Now you need to add the detergent. All right. Can I also add fabric softener? Sure, if you want. And now you just need to put all your clothes into the machine. Let me help you. Thanks, my child. Now, can I press the start button? Yes, please do it now. You've got it. Perfect. Thank you, my sweet Tom. What would you like to eat? What an interesting story. Oh, it's already 12 p.m. Would you like to have lunch at our house, Mrs. Lisa? Yes, I'd love to. Ken always tells me that your cooking skill is perfect. Oh, did he really say that? I feel so awkward. No, there's nothing to be awkward about. I can see that Ken loves you so much through his stories. Thank you. And what would you like to eat? Anything is fine, Tracy. Do you have any suggestions? I'm thinking about roasted cauliflower tacos. What is that? It's a taco with roasted cauliflower, and it's based on a Mexican dish. Mmm, I love Mexican food. Can I pay by credit card? Excuse me, I'd like to have the bill. Yes, sir, here you are. Can I pay by credit card? Yes, sir. May I have your card, please? Here it is. Thank you. Please wait for a minute. Here's your card and your receipt. Thank you. The dinner today was perfect. I will definitely come here next time. I'm glad you enjoyed your meal. Thank you for choosing us. How's the weather today? Hurry up, Tom, or you're going to be late for school. I'm coming. How's the weather today, honey? I'm listening to the weather forecaster now. He said it's going to be a rainy day. If so, don't forget to bring your umbrellas. Where's my umbrella, Mom? It's in the living room, Tom. Please put your umbrella in the right place next time. Look at the sky, Mom and Dad. There are a lot of dark clouds coming this way. Oh, no. It's going to be raining heavily today. What are they saying about me? Do you know that you are so famous at school, Luna? Wait, what? I'm famous? No way. I'm not kidding, girl. Everyone in the math class talks about you all the time. What are they saying about me? <laughs> They said that you are a math genius. You can solve every math problem that the teacher gives. Well, I admit that I'm interested in math, but I'm not that smart. I don't know, but they said so. Hmm, what else are they saying? Well, they did say that you're a bit introverted. I agree with this point. I hardly talk to anyone in classes except you. Do you want to make more new friends? It's fine to me being what I am now. How long are you going to stay there? Welcome back, Jane. I missed you so much. I missed you more than you missed me, Anna. Oh. <laughs> 
Let's go to my apartment now. By the way, Jane, how long are you going to stay there? Hmm, I'm having my long vacation right now. Maybe I could stay there for a month? Really? We can travel together. Yeah, why not, right? I think I'm going to spend the last two weeks with my family. That would be great. They must also miss you so much. Do you see him often? It's great to go jogging on such a beautiful day like this. Yeah, it's been a long time since it was sunny, right? You're right. It's been raining the last two weeks. Look over there. Is that our new neighbor, John? Oh, yeah. He usually does some gardening in the afternoon. Do you see him often? Not really. I think he moved there two weeks ago, but he hasn't talked to anybody yet. And it was raining cats and dogs, so I couldn't go outside and talk to him. Yeah, you're right. Could someone pick up the dry cleaning? Oh no, our washing machine is broken. What? Yeah, I'm afraid so. I tried to click the start button, but it's not working. What are we gonna do now? Should we use the dry cleaning surface? I think we should. Do you know any dry cleaners near here? Yeah, I know one. Let me take our clothes there. Wait, how long does it take for us to pick them up? Usually around 24 to 48 hours, I guess. Okay, cool. Shall we go for a walk? What's the weather like today, Andy? It's cloudy, and it's not too hot. Perfect. Shall we go for a walk? We definitely should. Where do you usually go for a walk? Mm. It's quite random, I guess. Sometimes I go jogging in the park. Sometimes I wander around the riverbank. Hey... I've never been to the riverbank before. You should definitely give it a try. You can enjoy the nature there if you want. Okay, let's go for a walk near the riverbank now. Are there any questions? I just finished presenting the schedule of our trip next week. Are there any questions? Hi, Kat. Yes, please. Do we have to bring a lot of clothes for the trip? No, we don't have to. The trip only lasts one day, so you don't need to change your clothes. Make sure to wear comfortable ones. Thank you, Mrs. Linda. You're welcome. Is there anyone else who wants to ask anything? I want to ask whether or not we have to buy breakfast and lunch ourselves or not. Oh, don't worry about that. The school will provide breakfast and lunch for you guys. Thank you. Is everything clear? Yes, yes Ms. Linda. All right, I think we can end the meeting today. Do you usually stay up late? Eyes. I'm so sleepy. Did you stay up late last night? Yeah. I forgot to do my homework, so I had to stay up until 2 p.m. to finish it. Gosh, do you usually stay up late? Not really. I can say that I'm a healthy person. I always go to bed at 10 p.m., except yesterday. I was so careless. Please manage your time better. 
I sure will. How about you? Are you a night owl? Well, I used to stay up late until 1 a.m. Wow, but why? I don't know. I just couldn't sleep before that, so I played video games instead. Bro, ha ha ha. But I've quit staying up late for a month. Lately, I've tried to go to sleep at 9 p.m. and wake up at 6 a.m. Hey, you've just built a good habit. Keep it up. You too, bro. Don't forget to practice your English every day to improve your English level. Watch the video for one week. Try to think and speak in English every time. Listen and repeat the lesson out loud to improve your listening and speaking skills fast. Thanks for watching. Please give us a like, share, and comment. Click here for more useful videos.